Good morning, students. Welcome to our today's virtual class. Are you all ready for today's class? Very good. Get ready. Take a notebook. Yes, and sit straight. And make, yes, necessary recordings wherever necessary. Very good. Today is the part two from the same lesson. Attitude is Altitude, Class 10, Unit 1, Reading A. Children? Yes, spell out. Spell out the person, the name of the person in the picture. He is none but Nick Vyojasik. Here is another picture for you. Yes. So, shall we continue with our comprehension passages further? Children, as I go through the lesson, I want you to make a note of the meanings that I have prepared for you in the slides. And also the opposites or the antonyms that I have prepared from the lesson. And the, th and the third one is the verb forms. I have given you the conjugation of verbs, few verbs. Try to make a note of it while you follow the lesson. Very good. Shall we start? Yes. Please look at this picture carefully. Who is in the picture? Very good. Nick Vyojasik. Is he alone? No. He is with his wife. Can you give the name of his wife? Okay. And what more do you see in the picture? Four children. Yes. Here is the family of Nick Vyojasik. His wife, Kenny, and he has four children too. Yes, very nice to see this picture as a beginning. And I would like to give some more, yes, pictures that I have collected from the Google Play Store. Okay, here is the picture of Nick playing golf. He loves to play. He loves to swim. He loves to skateboard. He loves to play football. Yes, as we go through the lesson, we will try to understand. Though he has no limbs, neither the legs nor the hands, he easily carries the golf stick. Yes, gets stuck under his neck. Can you see it clearly in the picture? Yes. And I want, I want you to show even, yes, the picture of his parents. Picture of his parents. See how happy they all are. Okay, with this motivation, I want you all, yes, to follow the lesson. Come on, let me read the passage for you. His parents decided not to send, to, send him to a special school. A decision, he said, was very hard for him, but which may have been the best decision they could have made for him. Okay, I'll read it for you once again. His parents... Whose parents, children? Yes, Nick Vujicic's parents. What did they decide? They have decided not to send him to a special school. What is a special school? What is the meaning of the word special? Yes, something? Yes, not normal. Something not common. Something special. Here I have given you the opposite of the word special. Normal or we can also say common. Nothing special. But here we see Nick's parents. Yes, they did not decide or they did not want Nick to be sent to a special school. What are special schools? Did you ever hear this word? Yes. There are so many people, so many children blind in the society. So many people that cannot hear or speak deaf and dumb. And there are many other Mentally retarded children too. So children, schools for such students or people or children are called special schools. Here, as Nick is, yes, suffering from a disability, deformity, his parents should actually send him to special school. But they decided not to send him to a special school. A decision, he said, was very hard for him. Actually, he felt he could not mingle with all the normal people in the normal schools. So, he felt very 
hard to digest what his yes parents have decided but which may have been the best decision they could have made for him he says yes though in the beginning he felt that it was very difficult to mingle with the common students yes he felt that was the best decision his parents have made for him later on in his life here are two more opposite words that i have given for you please make a note of them children hard or tough the opposite of it is soft smooth very good and the next word is best very good worst so did you all make a note of these opposite words very good we'll continue here is another picture just to motivate us yes the picture of nick's nick and his parents and also his siblings you can see nick here did you identify nick yes this is our nick wonderful we'll continue with our lesson when nick was born his father was so shocked that he left the hospital room to vomit children first look at the meaning of the words shocked vomit then you will be able to understand the meaning of the sentence what is the meaning of the word shock yes struck with fear when nick was born his father was so shocked why should a father be shocked yes when a child is born for him yes i am not only getting shocked yes he left the hospital room to vomit it since what is the meaning of the word vomit eject the contents of the stomach what all he had yes eaten or what all he ate came out of his mouth because he could not digest yes looking at the newly born baby nick his distraught mother couldn't bring herself to hold him until he was 4 months old and look at the condition of his mother here the meaning of the word distraught is deeply troubled deeply depressed rather we can say hurt in mind and heart yes looking at the boy born without the limbs neither hands nor legs and she could not with that depression carry or hold nick for almost 4 months isn't it something strange children yes here is the picture of the small yes nick when he was born he was almost like this yes you can see the little chicken drumstick what he says yes his little skin or part attached to his thighs and there are no limbs neither the legs nor the hands isn't it something strange yes his disability came without any medical explanation a rare occurrence called for comelia his disability what is the meaning of the word disability yes a handicap being handicap having an impairment yes yes some defect some deformity in the body some deformity in the body whatever it may not having eyes not having legs not having yes even if it is one or two anything may be called as handicap or disability so here which disability is nick having yes impairment he has no legs he has no hands his disability came without any medical explanation doctors were surprised how what would have happened yes for this child to be born like this a rare occurrence called phocomelia and that condition yes that type of disability was named phocomelia which means a rare congenital deformity in which the hands or feet are attached close to the trunk sometimes the hands and the feet get attached close to the trunk the trunk means the body the main body attached to the head here we see nick maybe in the same position and nick and his parents spent many years asking why this cruel trick would have to would happen to them yes not only nick nick was really yes depressed 
and not only Nick, his parents, both his parents, all the time were troubled. All the time, a question went on, went on in their minds. Why is such a condition occurred for their child or for Nick? Look at the meaning of the word cruel. Willfully causing pain or suffering to others. So why? That was the question. Why God willfully created pain in their lives? Yes, any parent would get that question. And let us continue. My mother was a nurse. What is the profession of his mother? A nurse. Very good. And she did everything right during pregnancy. But she still blamed herself. He said. Nick says that his mother used to blame herself. What is the meaning of the word blame? Find fault. She always used to find fault with her only. That she had, she might have done something wrong while carrying the child in her womb. It was so hard for them, but right from the start, they did their best to make me independent. And he admits that his parents really did wondrous job for him. They always tried to do their best for him. Of course, any parent, either father or mother or even both, they all the time, yes, try to do the best for their children. But here, Nick is something special. He is not like any other child, normal child. And so Nick's parents did their best, even double best we can say, to make him, yes, feel independent. My dad put me in water at 18 months. Why did his father do this? His father took him to a water pool, swimming pool, and threw him into the water. Just when he was 18 months, that is almost one and a half year old. Yes, is it to kill Nick? Children? No. That was the courage his father, yes, had and wanted to create that courage in Nick by throwing him into the pool and gave the courage to learn him, to learn how to swim. Okay, that was the courage his father, yes, made him to inculcate right from his birth, right from the age of one and a half year or 18 months. Here, make a note of the meaning of the word independent. Free from external control. Free from external control. Courage. Brave. So we can say, Nick is a brave child. And we can say that Nick almost learned, learned a lot with the help of his parents. Encouragement to live independently, if though not 100%, at least to some extent. I also got really into football and skateboarding, not only swimming. He learned to play football. He learned to play skateboarding. I totally love the English Premier League. He was the lover of sports children. Nick's father was a computer programmer and accountant. What is, yes, the profession of his father? A computer programmer and an accountant. Very good. And he taught his little son how to type with his toe at just six years old. What did Nick's father teach him rather? Yes, taught. He was taught to type with his finger, with fingers or with his toes, little fingers on his little, yes, toe, little foot we can say. The toes on his foot. Yes. At what age, children? Just when he was six years old. Isn't it something brave and, uh, what to say, wondrous to listen? His mom invented a special plastic device. See, his mother started to invent new, new devices. Yes, which would help Nick in his life. That meant he could hold a pen and a pencil. She wanted him to brush his teeth on his own. She wanted him to write on his own. She wanted him to hold the pen or a pencil or a golf bat all by himself and do something wonderful. So look at such pictures here. Can you imagine Nick swimming without having hands and legs? Here it is. Can you imagine a man without having legs and foot? Yes. Skateboarding. On the sea or in the waters, here 
believe it here yeah, these are the true pictures of this man lake in the passage you have observed that i have highlighted three words taught invented meant so these are the verbs children these are the verbs and i have given the conjugation of these verbs the other forms of these verbs here these three words are in v2 form past that is v2 verb in the second form and i have given you v1 for those words are also the v3 for these three words let us see these three teach taught taught make a note of these words children and you should try to identify the other verbs in the lesson and try to yes write the other forms the conjugation of those verbs that you have identified invent very good invented invented mean meant meant we'll continue with our lesson children despite the risk of being bullied his parents insisted nick on attending mainstream school they knew they knew that their child would be bullied teased yes made fun of here despite in spite of in spite of knowing that they insisted nick they forced nick rather to attend the mainstream school just like the school of yes our children it was the best decision they could have made for me and nick even in the previous passage we have seen the same opinion even here he says that was the best decision his parents made for him who later achieved a degree in financial planning and real estate he really yes became a graduate it was very hard but it gave me independence learning with the children in the mainstream school was really a challenging task for him but he says that made me more independent i tried to become independent by being with these children nick who was teased nick who was teased and bullied had an electric wheelchair for mobility and a team of carers to help him of course he was teased he was made fun of there there anywhere in the world there may be yes few people naughty people yes teasing even such yes unprivileged people in the society here even nick faced faced that situation and there are of course there are of course so many friends for him carers we can say so many people caring for him and he used to come to the school in his own electric wheelchair which had a very good mobility movement here are here are a few more meanings from this passage follow the lesson i was deeply depressed when i was 8 years old why should he be depressed he says he was deeply depressed and that too when he was 8 years old yes we will see for what his depression was i went to my mom crying and told her i wanted to kill myself and under this depression what did he do yes he ra he ran to his mother he crawled to his mother and he caught hold of her yes he he does not have hands to catch hold of his mother too must be he he leaned over his mother and started to cry i felt cold and bitter bitter yes that which is not sweet a bad experience in his life i hated god for doing this to me what is this here yes for giving yes the deformity and that to a severe deformity of not having both the hands of not having both the legs totally no limbs imagine the condition of the yes person with that situation so he says he was depressed and he wanted to kill kill himself that was the reason that bitter experience was the reason for him yes to kill himself but and was terrified of what would happen when my parents weren't there to look after me because there was the need special need of his mother and father even though he started to grow to be 8 years 10 years 15 years he even now for many things he need to depend on his yes uh, take caretakers so he at that time when he was 8 years itself he recognized that he cannot lead his life without his parents so imagining that situation what if yes my parents are not there for me how can i survive so he wanted to kill himself then itself 
terrified, a cause to feel extreme fear. Isn't it a dangerous thought in our mind, children? Imagine our lives without our parents. And imagine such a person like Nick to live without parents, without such a loving caretakers. Yes, there is justice. Yes, there is justice in Nick's thoughts. But children, he never did such kind of, yes, timid activity. He was such a brave child and he grew totally very brave in the society and even stands as an inspiration for us today. There is one more passage. We will read it and learn something from it. I could brush my own teeth with a small, sorry, with a wall mounted brush and wash my own hair with pump action soap. So these are also the devices. His mother created some plastic devices, invented some plastic devices to hold the pen, pencil. Here, a wall mounted brush too was such a device created or invented by his mother. And also, yes, a pump action soap to wash his hair all by himself. Of course, of course, though not 100%. Yes, such devices helped him to feel independent at least to some extent to 50 to 60 percent maybe but there was no much so much that was impossible for me he says not everything but at least little i could manage by myself by his mother's invention see the care his mother had for him his father had for him at age 10 nick tried to drown himself in the bath but luckily the attempt was unsuccessful and this time, at the age of 18 months, father threw him into the water pool just to make him learn swimming courageously. There, with some aim, father did that activity. But here, Nick wanted to drown himself in the, yes, bathtub with some children. See, what a suicidal attempt. Of course, man proposes, but God disposes. There's a saying in English like this. So, he is alive till today because God has a plan for him, a special plan, plan for him. Children, here are the two opposite words I have given for you. Make a note of them. Impossible, possible, possible, impossible. Unsuccessful, successful, successful, unsuccessful. Very good. Children, till now we have gone through few Comprehension passages from the same lesson. Attitude is altitude. Almost we have completed three-fourths of the lesson. There is very little left over. And we'll, I'll try to yes make even that remaining part as part three. So that we will be able to cover the whole lesson. Just for a small recapitulation of all what we have learned today. Yes, I have given you this slide. Children, today we have learned many opposite words. Here are a few that you have already made note of. Yes, try to make a note if you have not done till now. And here are the same verb forms. Yes, just to recapitulate, I have created this slide once again for you. Children, not only noting down what all words that I have given for you, I want you to do some exercise. Okay? Yes, that will help you a lot. This lesson you can listen many times, as many times as possible. And while reading, you have the passages right in front of you. Yes, in the form of slides. Follow the passages line by line, word by word. Try to make a note of the meanings. Try to make a note of the opposites. And try to make a note of the verbs. Here are the three. Yes, exercises that I am giving for you, children. What all words you feel difficult, that you feel you don't know the meaning of this word, that word. Make a note of those words. If you have a dictionary with you, try to write the meanings. If not, yes, you, can, you are free to call me so that I'll help you out. And yes, jot out the opposites and even the verbs and try to get the answer. And before that, I just wanted to test you. Okay? 
Yes, this is the homework for you. Make a note of all these 12 words and write the meanings for them. Simple work. Yes, family, chin, decision, special occurrence, pregnancy, everything, device, achieved, mainstream, independence, mobility. You can do it, children. Don't worry. You can do it. And what if you get the meaning, well and good. And if not, don't worry. Yes, your teacher is always at your hand. You can, you're free to make a call to me or else I'll just give you this, these answers later when you meet me. Write the other verb forms of, and I have collected five words for you. These are verbs, children. Action words are called as verbs. I want you to identify the verb form here. And also, I want you to write the other two forms for these verbs. Conjugation of verbs. V1, V2, V3. We have done such exercises last year also. I know you will be able to do it. So with this, I have completed today's lesson. Children, if you feel the lesson went very fast, yes, you may listen to the same video repeatedly for more clarity. Okay? And try to help each other. Do not waste your time. Because time once lost cannot be gained. And I wish you all to have a beautiful and a happy day. Let us meet with the next video. Part 3 of the same lesson.